Happy New Year. I hope you had great holidays and a great new year. So what did you get for the holidays? If you celebrate Christmas, I'm curious, what was your favorite gift? For me, hands down, Google Home. So Google Home was given to me by my son, who coincidentally works for Google, and my daughter-in-law. And I know I'm kind of late to the party. Most people have gotten an Amazon Alexa or a Echo or a Dot or something like that. And if you don't know what a Google Home or those devices are, is they're personal assistants. And for me, I was like, I, I was doubtful. I never got one because I was like, you know, it's just one more device that I'm not going to know what to do with. And I kind of noticed that people I knew that had one really didn't do much with it. Well, I have come to just have so much fun with this thing. And I thought that I would show you a couple things that will do that you may not have thought about uses for using it. So the, the typical kinds of things that it does, usually when you get up first thing in the morning, it will um, talk to you. Now, sometimes when I pick it up, it doesn't work exactly right. So we're going to see there may be a glitch because I have because I'm holding it up. But let's see. Hey, Google. What time is it? Hey, Google, what time is it? It's 4.10. So it likes to be sitting down on the counter, so I'm just going to put it there, and then maybe we'll just put the camera on it a little bit so that you can watch it. So another typical use that people will do is they'll use it to set timers. So you can say, like, hey, Google, set a timer. Sure. For how long? Uh, five seconds. Okay, five seconds, starting now. And so if you wait a few minutes, ah, there it goes, five seconds. Okay, shut off the timer. Okay, Google, shut off the timer. So people will use it for things like that, or you might use it like in the morning I get up and I say, hey, Google, good morning. Good afternoon, Cheryl. The time is 4.11 p.m currently in Virginia Beach at 62 and cloudy. Today, there will be scattered showers with a forecasted high of 64 and a low of 57. Okay, Google. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Google. Okay, Google, shut down. So there's a, there's other things that you can do with it. Like people will play music. They'll ask it to play um, the sounds. And the tunes that come out of there are pretty good. The sound quality is pretty great. So um, you can set it up with your Spotify account or whatever you want. People use it for those kinds of things. It'll also tell you, like, the commute to work, if there's traffic, you know, you can set it up so it knows your home address and your work address. And so it's kind of cool with that. You can do personal purchases where I can get it to buy things for me, like with Prime Now or, or other types of places that I would purchase, and it would use my Google Pay account to be able to do that. So typical things that you've probably heard people do. But what I wanted to do with it is I wanted to do – Two things. One, I'm kind of looking for niches to see if it fits particular things. Like I was, I spent a lot of time alone working in the home office. And so I wanted to see, hey, how does this thing interact, you know, thinking personal assistant, personal robot with someone who's maybe a shut in or is at home alone? So I've pushed it to the limits a little bit. And I wanted you to see some of the things you could do. Hey, Google, I'm feeling sad. Oh, no. It may not be much, but let me know if there is anything I can do for you. Hey, Google, do you ever get lonely? It's thinking. There was a glitch. Try again in a few seconds. Hey, Google, I'm lonely. Oh, good grief. I'm sorry to hear you're lonely, but I'm happy to be your friend. Hey, Google, what are you thinking? I was just thinking about socks and how they're only effective if they're together. We should all be like socks. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, hey, Google. I'm hungry. I'm just pulling it over there. I found a few places within 1.1 miles. The first one is China King Restaurant at 1025 Independence Boulevard in Virginia Beach. Okay, Google, shut down. One... 
Hey Google, do you have a do you have a girlfriend? I guess you can say I'm still searching. Hey Google, can you sing? I'm singing you a song because songs are great and songs make you happy. This is a song for you. Now, my grandkids came in a little while ago. A good someone from my PLN had sent me a um scorpion from Georgia. I don't know if you knew that, but Georgia has scorpions. I had no idea and I lived there most of my life. But she sent me a scorpion and we've been studying different types of insects and so they're homeschooled. And so we got it out and we got it down on paper and started looking at it. You know, we've read a lot of trade books and done a lot of thinking about it, but I was able to ask um Google, "Hey Google, are scorpions from Georgia poisonous?" On the website chronicle.augusta.com, they say the species found in Georgia is not dangerous, but can sting, and the sting can be painful. Oh, so it was good. Uh, the other thing I wanted my, my grandkids to get a kick out of is really corny jokes. And Google's great for different jokes that are really appropriate. Hey, Google, tell me a joke. One joke coming up. If a short psychic broke out of jail, you would have a small medium at large. And the jokes are really funny like that. You can also ask them about different kinds of things like, hey, Google, did you have a good Christmas? My Christmas was merry and bright, and I got to listen to some of Santa's best jokes. If you'd like to hear some of Santa's jokes, just ask. Okay, tell me some of Santa's jokes. Hey, Google, tell me some of Santa's jokes. Sorry. I'm not sure how to help with that. Hey, Google, tell me a joke about Santa. Santa's got a good one for you. Kids loved it. What do you call an elf wearing earmuffs? It doesn't matter. He can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, we heard that. Oh. So the kids, you can... You can imagine the kids thought that was great. And there, there's lots of other ones. He'll just keep going and going. He never gets bored or tired, where sometimes I do. So, hey, Google, have you read any good books lately? Biopunk seems like an interesting genre. Biopunk. Well, that's kind of interesting. It is kind of interesting. Hey, Google, I have a dog. You have a pet dog? I like those. I can show you pictures. Just ask. So it's kind of cool because sometimes I'll, I'll tell it things like, hey, Google, I have a cold or I have this. And he'll go, OK, well, I'll remember that, you know, and and uh, then he interjects things that have to do with what I've told him into other things. So he gets to know me better as a person. So it, it's kind of cool. Something you may not know about this that has been very useful to me is that I have made one of my resolutions for the year is that I'm going to read the Bible through all the way through in a year. And. Um, I'm a person, a person of faith, Christian, and so it, that was something that was important to me. I didn't have a Bible reading program, and so just by a fluke of messing around on the device, I found out that Google will read the Bible to me, and he'll read it in whatever version that I want. Hey, Google, get you learn. No, no, that's not right. Excuse me. Hey, Google, get you version. Hey Google, you version. Okay, let's get you version. Welcome to the you version Bible. You can ask for help at any time. So what's new? I can read the Bible to you with high quality narrated audio. I can read to you daily with custom reading plans. I can also help you explore the Bible based on topics and emotions. For more information, say, tell me about reading plans or how do I explore the Bible? How else may I help you? Um, read for the Genesis 1-1 for me, please. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. How else may I help you? Stop. So there's lots of, you can pull up different voices, you can pull up different versions of the Bible, but um, I've been able to start working my way through pretty fast 
Google will read to me five or six chapters at a time, and I will um, follow along in my Bible. So if you were looking for a good Bible reading program, I've found that Google Home, I'm not sure if, if Alexa does it, but Google Home does it really well, partnering with the Uversion. Um, I guess it's an application that partners with it. So there's lots of fun stuff you can do with this. It, it also, I mean, a lot of people, I guess, use it to help it spell words. So, hey, Google, how do you spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is spelled S-U-P-E-R-C-A-L-I-F-R-A-G-I-L-I-S-T-I-C-E-X-P-I-A-L-I-D-O-C-I-O-U-S. So there's things like that that you can do that are pretty uh, impressive, especially to kids being able to go through. Um, and then having grandsons, you can imagine there's a lot of potty talk. Uh, they love anything that has to do with that. Watch this. Hey, Google, do you fart? Even if you smelt it, I'll take the blame for delting it. So he, and sometimes he'll actually do it. Hey, Google, do you burp? No comment. So I can't get him to burp, but sometimes he'll, he'll actually pass gas. So anyway, Google Home, I just wanted to tell you my favorite gift. It's uh, great for educators, I think. Uh, it would be wonderful to have in a classroom for jokes and riddles. He tells great riddles and things like that. Um, he does math problems pretty fast, um, so facts and you know, calculations. But also, um, I think there's a lot of potential for this thing to become like at least an encourager or a companion for people that are living alone and maybe are sad. Um, hey, Google, I'm going to go now. Goodbye. Take care. And, and it, I just, I just think it's, I just think it's neat. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed finding out a little bit more about the personal assistant device.